Hello, my name is Kimberly Kikawa and today I'm actually going to be showing you how to do some abstract art. So first, I'm going to go ahead and go over the materials or the art supplies that we're going to be needing today. And first we're going to start with a canvas. Mine is empty, but I do have a ready pre-made one ready for us. And I have some I have some paints that we're going to be using today. I just picked out some random colors. And then this is the tape, or I did have this one, which I had to makeshift to make it fit. And then I have clothespins and cotton balls. And also, this is a plate. We're going to go ahead and put our paint on the plate. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the steps. So the first step that we would need to do is put paint on our plate. So here's our plate. And I'm going to go ahead and just get the different colors. First, I'm going to go ahead and grab some blue. And then I'll get some red. Just put a bunch on there. And we can always get more if you need more. I'm gonna get some yellow here. And then we're gonna squeeze it on. And I'm also gonna get green. So today I just used mainly the primary colors. Okay, after you dab your after you put your paint on your plate, then you're gonna go ahead and put that aside. And then you're gonna go ahead and grab your clothespin and your cotton balls. So this is actually gonna make our paintbrush and we're gonna be dabbing with it. So I'm just gonna make a couple, since I have four different colors, I'm gonna go ahead and make four. So we're just gonna pinch and put it on the cotton ball. Pinch and put on the cotton ball. And last but not least, pinch and put on the cotton ball. Okay, after you make your makeshift paintbrushes, then we're gonna go ahead and tape our canvas, but I already taped our camp or I already taped the canvas that I'm gonna be using today. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our makeshift paintbrush and we're gonna go ahead and start dabbing. So it doesn't really matter where you're gonna be dabbing, you can dab anywhere. This is just gonna add a little bit of texture to your painting. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a different spot over here. And for abstract, it doesn't really matter where you paint. It, that, that's what makes it abstract. It's your, up to your own design. And I'm going to go ahead and get grab a different color. It's going to be green over here. Okay, and mix it. You can mix the colors if you want to. Some people like to mix it. Um, and for the sake of this video, I'm not going to be mixing it. And then I'm going to add another green one here. dabbing sometimes if you want you can use different color paint or different um, materials and the, the paint will actually come out a little bit different it'll make it look different so that's the cool part about abstract you can use all sorts of materials some people use sponges and some people use um, some people use some flat objects to make it just look like it's scraping those are really cool too okay I'm gonna go ahead and add some more color here, and we'll add some here with some blue. I'm gonna go ahead and we're almost done. The cool thing about abstract is you don't know what it's gonna come out to look like until you reveal it, and that's actually the last step. So as soon as we finish painting all of our colors, now if it's gonna be red, I'm gonna add a little bit more and start mixing the colors too. sure we want to we want to add a lot of color and even if you wanted to you can leave a little bit white like that just to add a little bit different texture to that one we'll go ahead and add some yellow and I'll go ahead and show you if you mix the colors and how the total looks okay so we'll go ahead and mix the red with a little bit of the yellow and it comes out a little bit different it's important that you go up and down when you dab because you don't want it to if you if you start to if you start to rub it it's gonna look a little bit different. So we'll go ahead and dab that. We'll go ahead and dab a little bit here and we'll add a different color on top of it. Okay. And then after you're all done, 
best part is going to be the reveal. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. And I'm going to go ahead and get my canvas off here. Okay, make sure you take it off very carefully. And you're actually going to peel off the paint. So, uh, peel off the, the tape. So we're going to go ahead and peel it off. Be careful of the paint. You don't want to mess it up because this paint does take a little bit of time to dry. So as soon as it's done drying, you can wait. Or for the sake of the video, that's why I'm taking it off now. But go ahead and show you. you guys like my video. Sorry it took so long. <laughs>